In this episode, it will be filled with all kinds of reveals of all kinds of types. To some extent, I guess you could say it's quite revealing. <laughs> no, not like that, you nasty bastards. Get your minds out of the gutter. Anyway, real quick, before we move on to this week, last week, some reveals include Darkrai being in Pokken, we got our first looks at Kid Flash and Pennywise, and we got our first release date to a new Saw movie, as if that didn't get tiring enough. Anyway, my name is Matthew Kmore, and welcome to the Blind Eye News, where we bring you anything and everything nerd. First on the list is the comeback of an old fan favorite, and the coming of a new face. Tech N7 will be bringing back the big man himself, Bob, and introducing a new character, Master Raven, to the roster of already powerful badasses. Bob, just as before, looks like he's gonna hit like a frickin' truck. Holy hell. And Raven looks like they hit fast, racking up damage like it's nobody's business. Their full trailers will be provided in the description box below so that you can view it at your own time, but we would love to know what you guys think. You know what? How about this? Let me know what your favorite Tekken character is in the comment section below. We're continuing on the character reveal trend! Do you remember in a previous episode where I talked about Berserk getting its own game? Well, then you should better go back and refresh yourself because Jesus, you putzes. Currently, Guts, Judea, Casca, and Griffith are all available as playable characters in the hack and slash title, but now Serpico and Shirk are joining the fray. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please do not hate me, Berserk fans. If you're unfamiliar with who they are, one is a knight of a holy order and the other is a witch in training. Screenshots were provided along with their reveals, so at least you get to see what they look like in-game, which is pretty cool, not gonna lie. The game will be released in Japan on September 21st. Psst, that's my birthday, by the way. Hit, hit. <clears throat> um, mm. Right, so they will be released on September 21st and will be available for all PlayStation devices and PC. And lastly for our reveals, again, referencing an old news that I did in a previous episode, we got to see our first look at the new character designs to some old favorites for the upcoming Hey Arnold movie. We get to see the main man himself, Arnold, his buddy Gerald, his admirer Helga, we all know who's a creep, and her partner in crime Phoebe. Though they did get some minor upgrades, they still hold very true to their original designs back in the 90s, giving us that nostalgic feel to those who watched it as kids. So, there will be a link in the description box below for you guys to check them out on your own, and maybe reminisce about the good old days about 90s animation cartoons and stuff. To wrap up this episode, we're going to end on some movie and TV news! Alright, enough silliness. There's talk that the next movie in the Divergence series will move to the TV screen, based on the very poor reception that the last one got in the box office, and I mean, man, it's almost laughable. The final movie is meant to tie up all of the loose ends present in the movie universe, and act as a springboard for the TV series with all new characters. Like, what? The original movie was supposed to be titled Ascendant, and was set to release in June of next year, 2017, but based on certain other movies coming out, competition was gonna be rough. But the project is still in its planning stages, so once more is made known, you can bet we'll have the scoop for you here on the Blind Eye News. And that's it for this episode of the Blind Eye News. I hope you guys enjoyed all the reveals that I had for you in this particular episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to make sure that you're updated with everything and everything nerd. We do post a video almost every week, we really do try. And be sure to check us out on our social media. On Facebook and Twitter, go ahead in the search bar, type in Blind Eye Studios, and you should have no problem finding us. Again, my name is Matthew Kmore, and I will see you next week.